hello guys welcome to today's episode thanks for watching our videos thanks for your support thanks for the love thanks for subscribing thanks for commenting thanks for sharing god bless you all on today's episode we are going to the book up and we are going to learn small history about the colorful houses over there without much said let's go we made it to the book up um area or community where they have these beautiful and colorful houses and uh, this symbolize freedom because after a long time of um, restriction and infringement on their rights and after the slaves were being told they can now buy houses of their choice and they decided to paint it to any color of their choice so it signifies freedom while in Cape Town, plan a trip to the Bokap neighborhood. It's known for its bright and colorful houses. I believe you have seen a lot of photos from this place. Today, the neighborhood is the popular tourist attraction, and visiting there is free of charge. We made it to the V&A waterfront and this is the fill which we will try it later on. This is the mall and we are about to enter and explore the beautiful Victoria and Alfred Harbour and the activities that take place over here. The V&A waterfront in Cape Town is one of the most popular attractions in the city. The main attraction is the Victoria and Alfred Harbour, where visitors enjoy strolling along the water and the view of the iconic Table Mountain. And also there are numerous restaurants, shops, cinema and art of galleries where you can also visit. As you walk through the waterfront, they have a performance setup where they usually organize artists to perform during weekends and this is free of charge. 
they show football matches so you can check it out anytime you are here Also, there are kids playground over here. The kids can come here to play. So if you have kids and you come here, it will be a bonus for you. Just to come here, have fun with your kids. This is so lovely. Some of the activities you can do here with your kids. We are here at the wheel. Let's go check out how much it cost. We just bought our ticket and it cost 250 rand for non-South African citizens outdoors and 155 rand for South African citizens. Here we go. We are being asked to take pictures here and wait for about 6 minutes for the first group to finish. So we are inside and we are moving, 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 moving. You can see the ocean. Is it an ocean or a river? I don't know. I don't know. You can see the town. You can see the stadium. Everywhere. Beautiful. Beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. I'm feeling cold. Don't mind me, eh? Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Everywhere still, 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 still. Yeah. You can see Cape Town from above when you are in the hill. This is so lovely. I am enjoying every JJ. bit of it. Baby. JJ. Come on. JJ. JJ, JJ, you like playing a lot. Come on. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Wow. Wow. So beautiful. So beautiful, beautiful. Going down now. No, 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 no. How do you see the town? Very beautiful. Look at the stadium, the roads, uh, and the shopping centers. Very beautiful. Well arranged houses. And the sea. I don't know if it's the sea or it's the ocean. Beautiful. South Africa is such a beautiful country. I never knew this country was beautiful like this. I'll be here again. Yeah, me too. Very soon. Yeah. So
this was the highlight of our trip and we are definitely doing this again and i hope this video brought you some value on our next episode we will look at our visit to the iconic table mountain and also my experience with the sky high ride stay tuned bye bye